One of the most renowned symbiosis in the reef aquarium is the one of the clownfish with its anemone. Symbiosis is defined as the interaction between two organisms living in close physical association, usually to the advantage of both. The one I'm going to be talking to you about today is less renowned and a lot more easy to replicate in the reef aquarium. Hi, I'm Rochelle from Quebec Cyclidé, your local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, right outside of Montreal. Today we will be talking about the symbiosis between the watchman gobby and the tiger pistol shrimp. I'm really happy to be doing this video. Uh, this is one of my favorite saltwater fish. It's also a very good week because finally I can film standing up. I've spent the last couple of weeks sitting down because my tripod had broken, so finally I got it back. So we're back on track with making nice videos. Also new this week, I got a lot of requests for this. I added some links for the US residents because most of my links were only for Canadians. So whenever I talk about something, you can check in the video description. And if you're in the US, just click on the link for the US. And if you're in Canada, just click on the links for Canada. Also coming up in the following weeks uh, for the international community, I'm gonna have some merch that I'm working on. So I'm still in the testing phase and I'll keep you posted. So without further ado, let's get started about our subject. The Watchman Gobby and the Tiger Pistol Shrimp can be found in the reefs between Japan and Australia at depths of 8 to 80 feet. For the shrimp, it is practically blind and needs the gobby for protection. The shrimp will use her antenna to feel around the rocks to navigate and she will also have one often on the gobby just to know that he's there to feel his presence, to know she's protected. If ever the gobby feels danger, he will give her a flick of the tail and she will retract into her spot. In exchange for this protection, the shrimp will offer to the gobby something that he cannot make for himself tunnels. The gobby is a bad excavator and the shrimp, well it's pretty good at what it does. The shrimp will excavate day in day out to make a tunnel system for the gobby which he will also use in turn for protection. He will be able to hide in there. In the wild the fish will not necessarily use those holes alone. It is a monogamous fish meaning that it only has one partner. So the couple will stay in the tunnels dug by the same shrimp. The gobby will not share its tunnels with a fish that it's not paired with. Once the gobbies are paired, they will lay their eggs in the tunnel that the shrimp built. Their eggs take five days to hatch, meaning that they will be safe for that time. So basically, the shrimp also offers protection to the spawn of the watchman gobby, making it essential for its reproduction. Anything can happen in the wild. A fish or shrimp could die, uh, maybe the fish will leap on an epic adventure and have a movie made out of him. And just as the clownfish with its anemone, it can find another partner. They are not paired for life. In the aquarium, even if you buy them separately and add them at different times, they will find each other. And once they do, the shrimp will start digging if she hasn't already dug herself a hole. And she'll start digging within a couple days for the watchman gobby. In all my experience with this duo, they paired practically right away. The shrimp will rearrange all your aquarium's landscape. So if you keep this duo in the aquarium, make sure that your rocks are solid. You might not see the gobby swimming around a lot in the first days that you put him in. Don't worry, give him time to adapt to his new environment and you will reward it with an amazing scene. This duo doesn't need a big aquarium volume. They can live in nano tanks of about 20 gallons, easily. This being said though, they're just as fragile as any other saltwater creature. So keep your salinity of 1.024, 1.025. Also, no ammonia, no nitrite, and very low nitrate. Keep your temperature stable between 25 and 26, and your fish will live a long, healthy life. The watchman gobby is a carnivore, so feed them essentially frozen mice, krill, or brine shrimp. If ever the food doesn't get to them or they're too shy, you can target feed them either some flake food or some pellets. They love those also. As for the shrimp, if you're target feeding pellets, she's going to take those in her tunnels and eat them, which is really good for her. It's important to always feed high quality foods to your aquarium. 
So what I suggest for marine pellets is Northfin Marine, which is a great Canadian brand that has proven itself over time. This dynamic duo stays pretty small. The fish can grow only up to about three to four inches and the shrimp will only grow up to about two inches tops. The Watchman Gobby is considered reef safe, meaning that it won't disrupt your corals. As for the shrimp, this one is reef safe but with caution, especially around frags. If the shrimp doesn't like the frag in its aquarium, it might spend all its day trying to bury it. This has happened to me. I would come home from work one day and the shrimp would just have flipped the frag over and covered it in rocks, hoping I didn't notice. I think she didn't like the color, it didn't match with the rocks I had chose for her. Even though the Watchman Gobby is a peaceful fish, it can still grow aggressive towards other fish of the same species. If you're to add two gobbies, make sure that they are a breeding pair. Many aquarists have said that they have had breeding pairs. On my end, since it's a store, I haven't really had any. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Have you ever had this fish? Have you ever had a breeding pair? Leave me a comment about that. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. There is new content being added every week. If you want to know more, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all my fish. I ship throughout Canada. As I mentioned earlier, I also added some links in most of my videos for the USA. So go check those out. So I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.